So this is our four inch narrowed link pin platform. This is uh, all using all American steel. It is a new construction beam and it comes with uh, this particular application opted, opted out or opted for the adjustable shocks. So kind of show you our beams. They have the game changer adjusters, which give you about seven and a quarter inches of adjustability. Uh, integrated body bunks in the uprights. It's got Zerk fittings for proper lubrication. And then we build the towers so that the, the, sh the gusset goes to the outside of the car, which gives you adequate clearance here to the body. Inside here, we use Delrin bushings, which does not have the same feel as a, a roller bearing. Uh, so you can't like bounce on the front end and get it to, to cycle. This is very precise, very, um, the, the thrust is perfect. So the ride quality is gonna be exceptional, but the handling is gonna be even better. No slop here. So um, we put the uh, little stars and paint the torsions in the, in the bottom there, got a little UB plates. We use OEM carriers and either uh, MP or CB performance spindles, depending on availability. Um, we use uh, melee tie rod ends, ARP fasteners. Uh, we do all the uh, thrust here, the reaming and thrust to get proper feel. Um, this particular one has an adjustable shock, which here at the top, you can turn it left or right to uh, soften the ride or harden the ride, depending on uh, the feel you're after, whether mama's in the car to lighten it up. You wanna go racing with a friends, tighten it up. Use a Bosch steering dampener, uh, new uh, DOM tie rods. Once again, uh, the correct tie rod with the bend in it. If you don't have the bend, you got the wrong one on it. Um, so all melee tie rod uh, ends. We have on the bottom here, we have ARP pivot arm bolt, ARP fasteners here, and we have the steering box locators here that give the right pitch. Cool thing about this, this is set up at a factory angle here. And if you tighten this one and loosen this one, it squeezes and it contracts, which changes the angle of this, allowing you to get proper alignment with your steering column. So really weird question and, and I have to show it. Why is there two holes? And that's because it can, you can't machine a curve to get into, into the spindle. So we can't machine a curve. So the first one is to get it a straight shot. And then the second hole is to machine it to get the transition for your speedo cable. We chase all the threads. So you have proper uh, fitment for, excuse me, not fitment, but application, whether you do a caliper bracket or backing plate, you don't have powder coat, sand, uh, crap inside the threads. We get it all nice and clean. Um, also pro built steering box with Zerks stainless fastener. We adjust the thrust here to get the right feel, uh, within the steering column. Um, so yeah, all our beams come with a steering dampener on it uh, in the bracket, whether it's a left hand or right hand, depending on the application. Um, and we do these in stock width, which we're doing one right here. This is stock width and stock spindles. So we can do them in a bunch of different configurations. Um, matter of fact, this one also has uh, shortened towers. We shortened it for a Manx. So uh, we brought the towers down an inch on the, on the towers uh, to get that one to fit. So um, another little bit of information. Um, as these go up, it raises the vehicle. As they come down, it lowers the vehicle. Um, so these adjustment screws are uh, what pushes and pulls. You don't want to uh, lift or lower the vehicle um, with the weight on the car. You want to kind of do it unloaded and then kind of put it down on the, on the ground, kind of put it in a preload and then you'll kind of get your, your setting. All these beams come uh, greased within all the eight Zerks on the link pin models, including 
the steering box all fully greased um, and then we wipe it down clean you, you won't find a speck of grease on this front end um, that's my thing so um, I don't want it to be uh, greasy for you um, if a little tip uh, when you're getting this car all set up and you got the right height all set up you're going to want to shorten this um, so if you have only a certain amount here, you can measure from this block to the base, and then you're gonna cut off that amount on this side, not this side because there's an Allen on the bottom of this. So then you can bring you can bring this all the way up flushed out with this nut, and that'll give you good ground clearance. So that's that. That's our pro build beam. This one is headed out to Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, it's got some uh, matching rear shocks and some beam bolts and uh, install kit to go with it. Um, thank you again for entrusting us to build your platform uh, for your uh, Volkswagen. Um, if you're interested in one, please comment below. Uh, we are slammed right now, but that doesn't mean that we can get you one eventually. If you like this film, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not already. And we'll see you on the on the flip side. That's CB jargon. Take care. Bye-bye.